guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, I'm going to be doing a little vlog. So this is going to be a bit of reading, a bit of school, whatever. Um, I'm on campus and I am a crim student in my second year. So just some context there. I'm currently doing some notes for one of my classes. I have an assignment due Thursday. And I'm just typing up all the notes for that. I don't actually have glasses. These are not prescriptions. They're just blue light glasses because I stare at my screen all day. So. Yeah, I just want to bring you guys along with me. Okay, so it's a little bit later. It's at like 2.20 right now. Um, but I just finished up some stuff for my crim assignment and taking notes. And now I'm going to work on mythology. So I'm going to be reading from Ovid's Metamorphosis. And this is a chonky, well, it looks chonky, but it's a poem. It's a super long poem and it's all related to mythology and stories. And it's all related to mythology and it all shows little stories. I've been writing in the book as I go and learning a lot. Um, it's very brutal. There's a lot of trigger warnings for this one. So I will find a resource and link those down below for you guys. Um, just make sure I have them all. But yeah, so far it's actually really good. I, like I love poetry. I love reading it. So this is like the perfect thing to read for class. Uh, I'll show you guys what I've kind of underlined, I guess. So my lens gaps over here <laughs> but I yeah I'm using a book bow bookmark but I'm on page 145 and throughout I've just been writing in it circling things making sure that I note certain paragraphs um yeah that kind of thing so making little notes that's what I've mostly been doing in here but yeah I'm gonna read this for a bit and see how it goes. Um, yeah, I'm gonna read this for a bit and probably till about three o'clock when I go, I'm probably gonna go hiking in the woods with some of my friends. So I'll probably read this for about 40 minutes and we'll see how far I get. It's, it's Tuesday. Um, it's not even that early. It's like 10.30, but I'm really tired because I woke up in the middle of the night, but I've been playing Animal Crossing for a bit this morning. This is what my character looks like at the moment. Um, yeah, I've been playing this for a bit, and then yesterday the, yesterday the walk in the woods took a while. Like we were there for like three hours, I think, um, which was nice. Um, and then we grabbed dinner, and I don't know, we just chilled for the rest of the evening. We did a a zoom event for our floor and that's about it i didn't read anything for fun yesterday but i did read some of metamorphosis so it's okay um hopefully today i can read something for just um enjoyment and not for school So I finished a bunch of my classwork. It's almost three o'clock. I finished, I have a little sticky note. My, this professionalism 
professionals in an assignment that I had to do. I replied to a bunch of emails. I did a lecture for one of my crim classes and then I've been working for a while on social psychology. So I just finished all of those notes and I'm gonna go grab some food now. So yeah, um, so far a really good day. Like I woke up feeling low key shitty, but turn around. Um, if you can hear that, that's the, the heat. Yeah, when I get back, I might just, you know, eat, watch YouTube, play some Animal Crossing, take a break kind of thing. Uh, and then we'll see, because I actually got two classes mostly done today, which is pretty good for me. So, I'm happy. But yeah, see you guys in the next clip. guys so welcome to Wednesday my heat is so loud so I'm really sorry if you can hear all that and if I'm not looking at the lens because I haven't vlogged in a while and it's not like I really looked at, I barely looked at the lens before if you look in my really old videos it's just me staring up at the viewfinder making sure the lighting's okay um, but yeah I read I read a book well actually play today I read meta and it was really good, really brutal. Um, it's a revenge tragedy story. Um, it's for my Greek mythology class. I thought it was pretty good though. I think I might give it like a 3.5 stars. I thought, it, I thought it was pretty good and pretty interesting. You know, at some points I was like cheering for Meta. I was like, you go queen. And then she like kills her kids. And I was like, oh, okay, never mind. But <laughs> uh, it was pretty good. So I read that today for school. So it wasn't like reading for fun or enjoyment reading. Well, it was enjoyable, but it wasn't for fun. It was academic reading. So I'm hoping to read something maybe tomorrow or the next day for more recreational reading, um, but I'm not mad that I finished something today. Like, I'm pretty happy with that, <laughs> and it was good. So, yeah. For the rest of the, the day, uh, I'm working on Greek mythology all day, and then tomorrow I have an assignment to do, and I have a test actually I have to do today, so I need to get those done before I go down for dinner soon, because it's like four o'clock. Um, 4.30, so I have a few hours to do some stuff before dinner, um, but yeah, in the previous clips I did like a cute little oracle reading, and I, I don't know, woke up, like did I, did I film anything else, who knows, um, I've been trying to write down everything that I vlog, like little pieces, just so I'm not like, hmm, did I tell you about this, and I forget, but yesterday I thought I read so much more than I did of Metamorphosis, I literally read 10 pages, so I need to work on that as well, and read more of that, but most part I got a lot, kind of a lot done today, so yeah. I hope you guys are having a good day. Uh, on this day, October 21st, it's Zoe's birthday from Zoe's All Booked. If you want to go wish her a happy birthday or happy belated, you can definitely go do that. Um, I just sent her a text now <laughs> saying happy birthday. Um, but yeah, I am supposed to also, um, hopefully Jay from the Awkward Bookworm and I, we're going to be visiting each other's islands today on Animal Crossing. I'm a little nervous because like my island's not perfect and um, you know I've only been, <laughs> I've been playing for like over a month um, so yeah but hope but I think it'll be fun I don't know I, I'm literally nervous for everything so like even <laughs> I get nervous for like everything so I'm just, I'm just a little nervous but I think it'll be okay um, and it's fun it's Animal Crossing so yeah. Hey guys, so it is Friday. I didn't update yesterday, but yesterday I didn't do any recreational reading either, just reading for school. I worked on a class, uh, I worked on, I handed in my assignment, I worked on a class, and then I also went to Costco later on, and like I worked on eight modules of this other class that I had to do, and so that was pretty good. And then today hasn't been like too productive, it's five o'clock. Um, I've just been doing a lot of Animal Crossing stuff on Notion, organizing stuff. Um, but I finished two lectures that I had to do for my philosophy class 
and I'm just sitting on my desk. That's what you saw in the previous clip, but yeah, I got that done today. And now I'm gonna write a discussion post for this class. Um, I just want to show you guys my lamp that I have here on my desk. I've been meaning to talk about it. Got it from BenQ, it's really cool. It's like a reading lamp, so there's a certain setting. You can hold the top and it'll change to a reading mode. You can also like cool or warm the light, which is really nice. Um, it's like super, like the bottom is super heavy. Like it's, a, it's strong, you know, it's gonna stay, it's sturdy. And to turn it on, you just tap the little circle thing at the top and you can also like slide your finger up or down if you wanna like change the brightness. Uh, so it's a really cool light and I just love using it, especially because because of the arm and because of the sides of it, I could just whip it around this way. Oh, I turned it off. <laughs> like this. And I can have my light over here instead. Light, excuse my like 80 cords, um, but I have a light here. Um, I'll show you guys on this side. So you turn it on with this guy. And you could dim it, make it warm or cool with this knob, press it, change this up as well. You can hold this and it'll turn on the green light, which is like the reading mode, which is perfect. And I want to do diamond painting, it's also perfect. So far this has come in handy so much and I've had it for a bit, I've been trying it out for a bit and I really like it, so I just want to show you guys that. If you're interested in it, I'll link it down below for you. I was sent it by BenQ like a while ago. Um, thank you so much to them. I really do like the lamp. Like it's more on the pricey side for sure. Like it's a little bit more on the pricey side, but I think it's very good quality and it's lasted me the past bit and it's been super useful. So if you're a student, I'd also recommend it. Or if you just want to read, if you want a reading lamp, this is a really good one. If you're wanting to, I don't know, spend a bit of extra money on a certain like reading area or on your desk, then definitely check this out. Uh, but I'll have all the links down below. Um, yesterday I just bought a book or two. No, I bought one book. I'll show you the book I bought. So the book I bought yesterday was this book, Solutions and Other Problems. Um, <laughs> this is by Ali Braj. I read her book last year. I, I read this author's other work called Hyperbole and a Half like a few years ago and I really liked it and then I've never seen anything else but this author come out and I saw this and I was meaning to buy it but it's um, I think $30 regular and I didn't want to spend that um, but at Costco they had it for 16 so I picked it up it's like in full color it's a graphic novel it's supposed to be really funny I think um, I'm really excited about it I don't know when I'm gonna read it but I'm really excited about it the hell? Oh look, that side blew off, I guess. The missing spot. Oh wow, look at all the hail. Holy shit. The thing is so loud. I don't know if you guys can hear it, I assume you can, but today's Sunday. I uh, didn't do too much yesterday, mostly just relaxing and I went out with my boyfriend for the day, but uh, I managed last night to actually start and finish a graphic novel, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it's huge for me because it's been a bit. Um, and this is called Thing by Sarah Anderson. Um, my friend actually sent this over to me for my birthday. And so thank you so much, Lara. I really liked it. It has like black edges um, and it's really cool. Um, it's basically just a little love story between a vampire and a werewolf, but it's really like funny and cute. And like each page is kind of its own like it all follows the same story, but it's not like a continuous back-to-back -back thing, um, which I found interesting. It was like each page or two was like a separate comic about them, which was really nice. The humor kind of was pretty good for me. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna give it just under a four-star rating. It's really good. It, I would recommend it for this time of year. And if you like uh, Sarah Anderson's Sarah's Scribble Scribbles series, then you'll like this too, I assume. Um, I've read her other series, and adulthood, adulthood was a myth or adulthood, adulthood is a myth, was such a good graphic novel. So I'm really excited she wrote something else and hopefully I can read more by her in the future because this is really good and cute. So I would recommend it if you're interested in picking it up. Wondering for the art, this is just, this is a page for the art that I really like. Uh, so yeah, that is gonna be it for this video guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you stay to the end, thank you. I appreciate you. Um, comment Cherry because there's two 
cherry, J Japanese cherry blossom and black cherry merlot sanitizers behind this camera. So comment cherry down below if you've made it this far in the video. I find that more people doing, are doing that now, which I love, uh, but I remember I used to do it in like my really old vlogs and it was just so cool to see who actually stayed till the end. But yeah, so thank you so much for watching if you're still here. Um, and yeah, I hope you're doing well and staying safe. I have all of my social media links down below and anything or anyone that I mentioned in this video, I will also have linked down below, including the lamp that I showed you guys in this video. Thank you to BenQ for sending that over to me. I've been meaning to kind of incorporate it into the video for a bit now, just because I've had it for a while. Um, but I really like it. I use it for school and I use it for reading, so it's perfect. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'll see you super soon. Bye!